Mayor Quirum. Here. Councilmember Newman. Here. Gomez. Here. McCall. McCransky. Here. Please stand and join us and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the good republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, to start, we have a uh, public comment tonight. Okay, we'll go to the uh, approval of minutes and Commissioner Newman. Thank you, Mayor. I move that we approve the minutes from our regular council meeting on April 4th, 2022. Second. Motion has been second. Comments? Call roll. Council Member Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. Bekransky? Aye. Mayor Quirum? Aye. Okay, we'll go to uh, approval invoices and city personnel. For this period in the Department of Accounts and Finances, we have invoices totaling $22,567.48. In the Department of Streets and Public Improvements, we have invoices totaling $93,153.83. In the Department of Public Safety, we have invoices totaling $208,026.20. And in the Department of Public Property and Utilities, we have invoices totaling $898,097.29 for a grand total of $1,221,844.80. Mayor, all council members present have confirmed their reviews of all invoices and now are submitted for disposition. I move that we approve the invoices as presented. Second. Motion has been second. Comments? Call roll. Council Member Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCransky? Aye. Mayor Quero? All right, I'll go to regular business. City for Next on the agenda is Ordinance O-22-009. This is the second and final reading of the uh, proposed fiscal budget for corporate purposes for the fiscal year commencing on 5-1-2022 and ending on 4-30 of 2023. Mayor, all council members have reviewed this ordinance and it is submitted for disposition. I move that we approve Ordinance 0-22-009. Second. Motion's been second. Teresa? Uh, the only notes I have to make on this, uh, since the first reading, we did add an extra 8000 to the police department training line. Um, this will be for a new officer coming in and getting them through the academy and all of that. Um, also, in streets, we did add one more part-time person to the street department. We had cut that back originally, um, but as we got thinking about it, with the transition from garbage not happening to going to the one-armed truck, uh, will not happen until the least late fall, winter time. That doesn't help quit during the summer, being short one part-time person with all the curbs. Um, a couple other projects just came up today that they could be involved in. So um, for that minimal amount that that will cost, that will uh, contribute a lot to that department. So I just added that one in for about 17000 So, Any, any uh, comments? Call roll. Motion has been second. Council Mayor Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. Uh, McCransky? Aye. Mayor Quirum? Aye. Next on the agenda is uh, suspension of the requirement for second reading for Ordinance 0-22-011. This is an ordinance authorizing the sale of property that is no longer used or of use for the City of Princeton. Uh, Mayor, all council members have reviewed this and... Uh, so the permit? Right. <laughs> all right. I move that we suspend the second reading for Ordinance 0-22-011. Second. Motion for second. Pete, you want to speak to the suspension? Um, the reason this is being suspended is because there um, is a, another situation where time is of the essence where um, a couple of the um, items are of interest to um, suitors for those uh, items for many months now. And um, we know that we can uh, maximize the uh, revenue from both the sale if we act now. Uh, those suitors will not be available in the, uh, after this week. 
Any uh, comments? Okay, uh, motion to second call roll. Councilmember Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCransky? Aye. Mayor Quirin? Aye. Next on the agenda is Ordinance 0 22 011, authorizing the sale of property no longer useful to the city. Mayor, all council members, have, council members have reviewed this ordinance and it is submitted for disposition. And will we approve Ordinance 0 22 011? Second. Motion to second. Do you just want to speak to what we're selling? Uh, the items for sale are uh, a, a, uh, an old bucket, two old bucket trucks, um, and one. 2006 um, pickup truck from the electric department. I guess it. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, motion has been second. Uh, any comments? Call roll. Councilmember Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCransky? Aye. Mayor Quirin? Aye. Next on the agenda is <clears throat> resolution R 22 016. This is in resolution authorizing a three-year mowing contract with Kernan's Lawn Service. Mayor, all council members have reviewed this resolution and it is submitted for disposition. And will we approve resolution R-22-016? Second. Motion has been second. Uh, comments from council? Count, uh, council Member Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. Uh, McCransky? Aye. Mayor Quirum? Aye. Next on the agenda is Resolution R-22-017. This is a resolution authorizing implementation of the Princeton Public Arts Commission plan for the Lovejoy Walkway, uh, also uh, formerly known as Columbus Street, um, that, that that resolution be approved. So all council members present have reviewed that ordinance or the resolution and it is submitted for disposition. And will we approve resolution R-22-017? Second. Motion has been second. Uh, comments from the council? Call roll. Council Member Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCransky? Aye. Mayor, Mayor Quirin? Aye. So this project will be uh, uh, getting underway fairly soon up at uh, Columbus Street. So we'll, uh, you'll see some action up there hopefully in the next two or three weeks. Next item on the agenda is resolution R-22-018. This is a resolution authorizing the rezoning of property on Railroad Avenue from manufacturing M1 to residential R3. Uh, Mayor, all council members have reviewed this resolution and it is submitted for disposition. And will we approve resolution R-22-018? Second. Motion has been second. Keep your own. This is property that was uh, formerly and locally known as the old plant station property, right over the railroad tracks of heading west on uh, Railroad Avenue mm -hmm. on the south side of the road. Um, Thirty years ago, there was a proposed project of expansion of the uses there that uh, would warrant the M1 designation. It never materialized, and now it's it's a, a little bit burdensome to utilize that property uh, in in an M1 district. So the current owner wants to uh, be able to maximize his uh, ability to use that property uh, by the possibility of uh, uh, adding a house or two to that um, to that district, uh, but he can only do so if it's in a residential zone. So um, that's why it's being rezoned to R3 if approved by the council. Uh, comments from the council? Motions has been seconded. Call roll. Council Member Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCransky? Aye. Mayor Quirin? Aye. Next on the agenda is Resolution R-22-019. This is a uh, resolution authorizing a special use permit um, for Ty Johnson in order to install mini warehouse storage on 1800 North Avenue. There, all council members have reviewed this resolution and it is submitted for disposition. I move that we approve resolution R-22-019. Second. Motion has been second. Pete. Um, this area is uh, probably commonly known as Lily's Corners, up uh, just north of the corner of um, John Deere dealership, uh, where there used to be a trucking uh, enterprise there. And uh, Mr. Johnson has recently purchased that property. 
um, has uh, determined that there's a need for many warehouse storage uh, in this town and that is currently zoned as business B4 which is a multi-use business district many warehousing is allowed in a B4 as long as a special use permit is issued by the council mm -hmm. so um, he'd like to move forward with that and, it, and had petitioned the plan commission and the council then to uh, get a, a approval for such purpose any comments from the council? Carl? Councilmember Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCransky? Aye. Mayor Quirin? Aye. You repeat, I'll go to city manager report. The only thing I have is uh, in your packet the fire pension for February of 2022, their report, if you have any questions on that. Um, just an update on the police pension. Um, it's actually just brought up before the meeting. Uh, their funds have not been transferred over to the state at this point. So uh, once that happens, you'll see the, some of the positive growth that we're also seeing in the fire pension. So. Any questions on that? Uh, just got a couple items. We have a reappointment. I move that we reappoint Brian Berlin to the Board of Trustees of the Firefighters Pension Fund for a three year term ending April 30th, 2025. Second. Motion to the second. Comments? All roll. I'm going to switch that page here. <clears throat> Councilmember Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCransky? Aye. Mayor Quirrell? Aye. And I have a proclamation. This is proclamation season. So, uh, in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees. Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and the world. The legislature of the state of Illinois has adopted an act designated ar designating Arbor Day and by that act has designated the last Friday of April as Arbor Day. Trees can reduce the erosion of our topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce oxygen and provide habitat for wildlife. Trees in our city increase property values, enhance economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community. It is the purpose of the designation of this day throughout the nation to encourage the planting of trees and to promote their protection and care to ensure their beauty and usefulness. Through the cooperation of all residents of our city, the beneficial effects of tree planting can be increased and we can pass on an enduring heritage of beauty and utilities to succeeding generations in our city. Therefore, the Princeton City Council do, does hereby proclaim Friday, April 29, 2022, as Arbor Day in the city of Princeton. And I urge all citizens to support efforts to protect our trees and woodlands and to support our city's urban forestry program. And I urge all citizens, citizens to observe this day by planting one or more trees. And uh, we've taken out some trees up on South Main Street because of uh, age and uh, they weren't doing very well. So we are replacing those trees, and we plan on replacing those, uh, we're going to be planting five new trees on Arbor Day. And once those trees go in, uh, they will be getting lights as well. So uh, lights are up and running on Main Street, and they'll be on from 5 till midnight, um, and they'll, those lights will be on year-round uh, at certain hours. So um, that's all I have. Do we have any old business tonight? Any new business? Public comment. Okay, I'll enter, entertain a motion to adjourn to executive session and to reconvene at our next next city council meeting. Well, that we adjourn our regular meeting and immediately convene in executive session under Illinois statutes to discuss purchase or lease of real estate property for the use of the public body. Also, for setting the price for sale or lease of property owned by the public body. Our next regular meeting of the city council will be on Monday. May 2nd, 2022, 7 o'clock at City Hall. Second. Motion has been second. Call roll. Councilmember Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCransky? Aye. Mayor Quirin? Aye. This meeting is adjourned, and thank you all for attending. <coughs>